Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today's session, Psalm 84, verse 11 and 12. Psalm 84, 11 and 12. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. When we look at the psalm today, it describes who God is. Metaphorically, he says, God is a sun. He is the source of all energy, the source of all power. It says he is a shield. A shield always protects. Therefore, that shield becomes an impenetrable it is impenetrable by the enemy's weapon. What does he give? The Bible says he gives, according to the version, grace, divine assistance, and that is free. It is favor that God gives, that which we do not even deserve. Scripture says he gives glory, splendor, fame, excellency. He displays this in happiness that is given or is reserved in heaven for the righteous. He also made a promise. He says, all good things, everything that is necessary for life, that which is good, he will not with all, but he will give to the believer. So who are the recipients? The believer. Those whose walk is upright with him. So as we see from the scriptures today, God is a provider. God is a protector. The word of God says, God illuminates like the sun. He invigorates like the sun. He warms like the sun. And he sustains life like the sun. As we see the sun today, there is nothing, the scripture says, that is hidden from the light of the sun. So it is with God. He sees everything. His presence is everywhere. And so he protects and defends as a shield for all those who will trust in him. This shield, as it were, is in the hand of a mighty man who watches over and protects his children. The Bible says that the Lord will give grace and he will give glory. Not grace without glory according to Romans 8 29 and 30. Grace is the plant. Glory is the fruit. Yes, he will give grace along the way for every time that we will need it. He will give us grace all the way unto the end of our journey. That is when he will welcome his redeemed children into their eternal home. So the Christian as the pilgrim as great assurance that 
he or she is going to lack nothing along the journey between here and when they enter their eternal home. We see from the scriptures that grace and glory go together. They are connected. And the bestowment of one follows the other. He that partakes of the grace of God on earth will partake also of his glory in the eternal home of the believer. So where grace is given, glory will also be given. Here we are saying that no good thing, nothing that is good, he will withhold from those who walk uprightly with him. But the mistake we must not make is to assume that we know what the good things are. So when we pray, as the scripture says, we must ask, we must seek, we must knock. Let us allow God to give us the good things that he desires to give because he knows what we need. Many times we become disappointed and we really think that God is not looking out for us or he's not giving what he promised or what his words says. When in truth and in fact, we are the one who misinterpret what he has to say. Yes, no good thing will he withhold from us if we walk uprightly. But who determine what that good thing is? It is God who knows all the needs. So the psalmist says at the end of the day, O Lord of hosts, happy or blessed is the man or the woman who can confidently trust you to do as you say. Why? Yes, we can trust God. You know why? He who did not spare his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8 verse 32. So today, as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us be determined with the assurance, with great confidence, with faith, as the scripture says, to trust him that where he leads us, even if we are blindfolded, we can follow him. Why? Because he will give us grace for every test, for every trial. And at the end of this pilgrim journey, he will crown the believer with glory and honor. And while we walk this pilgrim pathway, if we sincerely walk uprightly, he is always there, ever present, to be whomever we want him to be, whether it is our protector or our provider. So therefore, we can trust him. So we trust him to give us the good things that he knows that we ought to have instead of us making the decision ourselves about that which is good. Lastly, the Christian, the man or the woman who places 
is trust in God will always be blessed. So today we can thank God for salvation. We can thank him for sending his son Jesus Christ to die upon the cross of Calvary for our sins. Because remember all good things, every blessing, God is the source of it. But it comes to us by way of the cross and that is true Jesus Christ. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the USA. God bless you.